My name is Evan Weinstein, and I'm the founder of Coco Press. Coco Press began in 2014 when I was a senior in high school. I combined my love of chocolate and 3D printing and came up with the idea to build a 3D printer that prints chocolate. The first prototype of Coco Press worked, but it never worked as well as I was hoping. The cooling system and extruder had some issues early on, and the humidity and room conditions where Coco Press was stored warped the frame. To fix some of these issues, I stuck business cards in the crack to realign the frame. There's nothing more permanent than a temporary solution, so this solution is still on the first version of the printer. When starting the redesign of the printer, Coco Press became my senior design project at Penn. This new version focused on rebuilding every aspect of the printer from the ground up. Each person on the team focused on a different aspect of the printer. My name is Natalia Bekova. While working on the printer, I mostly worked on the cooling and the heating component, and most especially the insulation, making sure that the printer looks consumer ready and has a good sleek finish to it. My name is Shane Sherman. I looked at the cooling of the enclosure and the heating of the chocolate and the fluid flow. Zometry manufactured five sheet metal parts for us. Four parts made up the frame and one made up an enclosure for the electronics. In-house, we only really have access to sheet metal goods and some sheet metal that we have to bend ourselves. The tolerancing on that is anywhere between maybe like 40 to 50 thousandths of an inch, but an ordered part from Zometry has about three thousandths of an inch of specificity to it. I'm so happy with what Zometry provided to us. From an engineering perspective, Zometry provided that high level of quality that allowed the assembly process to be pretty easy. The first time we assembled it, it fit, which never happens with in-house manufacturing techniques. It's honestly a wonderful frame. My favorite part about working with Zometry was the quick response times that we got from the company. As students and not experienced sheet metal designers, having them run an experience that of eyes over our designs was very helpful and it made sure that when we got our order we didn't have to resend it or remachine anything. It was exactly what we needed. There were a few problems with the first prototype. It wasn't very stable and a lot of the panels would move relative to each other. This sheet metal part that we got from Zometry is an integral piece and the way that it's fastened together is very rigid and solid. The rigidity of the frame is important for the accuracy of the printer and for reducing vibrations from the cooling system. I recently graduated from Penn where I studied mechanical engineering. This summer, I'm excited to work on the printer full time at a makerspace in South Philadelphia. I have faith in Evan that he can take this to a very high level. I think it has a very bright future. I have the utmost faith in Evan in bringing this into the commercial market and making quite an impact in the chocolatiering industry with this project. In the future, I'm planning on redesigning the printer for design for manufacturability, working towards NSF food safety certifications, and hiring employees to bring this product to market.